What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic why don't Tyson Fury fight Anthony Joshua August 14th and then fight Wilder a month later if he really wants Undisputed? Let's chop it up and see what it's all about. On a block with the pole, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? Pretty rich, show me titties, huh? And I got the glazy run up on me. I'ma make you get it. I'ma make you get it. Okay, boxing fans. Let's talk some boxing. We're going to chop it up today. So, let's get, you know, let's get to it. Uh, it's been reported that uh, Deontay Wilder is asking for 20 million step aside to let the uh, undisputed bout between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua go forward the question we have to ask ourselves is is that true i mean at the end of the day uh the only person that we have uh you know uh for that information is basically tyson fury and you know uh it's kind of difficult at this point to believe anything tyson fury is saying i mean tyson fury has you know said and his camp and bob Arum had said that the rematch clause that expired between him and Deontay Wilder. Now, the mediation and arbitration decision that just came down proved that was not the case because at the end of the day, what the, what the decision has shown us is that Deontay Wilder does have a rematch clause with uh, Tyson Fury. I mean, we know they had a rematch clause, but what we are saying is that uh, at this point, it, it seems that based on the decision, the rematch clause was still in effect when Tyson Fury decided to walk away from uh, the fight, the trilogy fight with Deontay Wilder. Okay, and so you know uh, everything that the, uh, that uh, Tyson Fury and Bob Arum were saying has been proven to be wrong. They were wrong about the rematch clause not being in effect. Uh, okay, and so the decision basically is showcasing that. So. You know, uh, I find it a little difficult to believe, uh, based on what has happened so far, that Deontay Wilder is asking for 20 million step aside, okay, when he has went through all the trouble to get this rematch in the first place, okay? So uh, I'm not, you know, I'm finding it uh, somewhat difficult to believe this whole $20 million uh, step aside thing maybe Deon maybe you know I mean I think it's more more likely that Fury offered Deontay Wilder uh 20 million to step aside and he probably refused it okay I mean based on what we're hearing from Deontay Wilder's camp you know Malik Scott saying that they don't want to step aside money they want blood okay so it looks like uh Deontay Wilder you know wants this third fight with Tyson Fury and I, I, you know, I, I tend not to believe this whole step aside, uh, you know, money business. At the end of the day, you know, uh, we've heard Tyson Fury say that uh, he would, that, you know, Deontay Wilder is a bum and that he would beat Deontay Wilder and Malice Scott the same night. Okay. All right, Mr. Tyson Fury. I mean, uh, you, you say you can do that. Okay. Well, if that's the case. Why don't you just fight uh, the, uh, fight Tyson, fight uh, Anthony Joshua on August 14th and then fight uh, Deontay Wilder a month later? Okay? For Undisputed. I mean, if you can beat Malik Scott and Deontay Wilder on the same night, why can't you fight Anthony Joshua a month after... I mean, why can't you fight Deontay Wilder a month after fighting... Uh, Anthony Joshua, I, I would think that's more, you know, that's a, that's a, you know, that's, that's possible based on, you know, uh, what, uh, Tyson Fury is saying about being able to beat Malik Scott and Deontay Wilder on the same night. So, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't look like there's going to be any way around this, uh, trilogy fight for Tyson Fury. Okay. Unless he just go ahead and fight. Anthony Joshua on August 14th and just fight Deontay Wilder a month later, you know, according to the deadline set by the, uh, the arbitration decision, which is September 15th. So conceivably, Tyson Fury could fight Anthony Joshua on August 14th 
and then fight Deontay Wilder on September 14th. It's a month later, okay? And a day before the, uh, the expiration of the deadline for the fight to take place, okay? So that, to me, would be the perfect solution to all of this. But instead, we see that uh, Bob Arum has already booked a, a venue, you know, uh, Bob Arum has already booked a venue in Las Vegas for the children fight. So it doesn't seem to me that uh, Tyson Fury is really trying to make that fight for undisputed against Anthony Joshua at this point. Because again, if the only, from what I can see, based on what we know so far, Deontay Wilder is not going to take any step aside money. So the fight has to be made. So if you want that money for the undisputed, and if that was me, uh, if I was uh, Tyson Fury, this is what I would do. I would fight Anthony Joshua on the 14th. I would not postpone that fight. I would take the fight on the 14th. And then a month later, I'd take the fight with Deontay Wilder. It's simple. I mean, it's a simple solution. So I don't see, you know, uh, there's no need for uh, to talk about step aside money. Step aside for what? Okay. So I, I'm not buying that the whole step aside, twenty million dollars step aside. I don't think that's the. I don't think that's what happened. More than likely, uh, like I said, uh, Tyson Fury probably offered Deontay Wilder twenty million, and he probably refused it. Okay. That would be that would be the more likely scenario, I would think. Okay. So, you know, uh, at this point, you know, Tyson Fury, you know. It's hard to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, they, him and his camp has been lying this whole time. Okay, they lied about the rematch clause expiring. Because that's this is what the, people have to understand, that this decision came down. And what it's actually saying is that, you know, whether, you know, people like it or not, Deontay Wilder, you know, I mean, Tyson Fury did Deontay Wilder a disservice by not, you know, giving him that third fight. This is what the decision is actually saying. Okay, so Tyson Fury was in the wrong, and now he has to, you know, uh, make, uh, you know, uh, he has to make things good by having this fight with uh, Deontay Wilder. So at the end of the day, you know, people can feel what they want to about Deontay Wilder. Yeah, we all know his excuses about, uh, you know, uh, Tyson Fury cheating about, you know, Mark Breland poisoning his water. Yeah, we all know all that stuff doesn't really make much sense. But at the end of the day, that has nothing to do with the fact that uh, he has been done a disservice by Tyson Fury for trying to, you know, get out of the rematch clause. And, you know, to me, it seemed like Tyson Fury was just trying to get out of the rematch clause and to do a money grab with, with you know, to make that fight with uh, Anthony Jackson for undisputed. To, you know, it's clear now that that was a money grab by Tyson Fury. So, you know, uh, Deontay Wilder asking for $20 million doesn't really make much sense unless the $20 million that he would make in the step aside would be more than he would get paid to fight Tyson Fury, okay? And that, that would make sense then, okay? But, I, I, you know, if I was, you know, if you were to ask me, I would more likely believe that Fury offered the $20 million and and and... and you know, Deontay refused the $20 million. So that, that's more likely. I don't think, I, I'm not, I don't think Deontay Wilder asked for $20 million from Tyson Fury to step aside. I think they probably offered that to Deontay Wilder and he probably refused that. Okay? And so, you know, we are, we are, you know, we are where we are now, you know, with this whole situation. So, the fact that, you know, uh, Bob Iron was just so quick to rush and uh, book a stadium in record time for the trilogy, you know, says a lot, really. I mean, you know, uh, it doesn't seem like they, they are in any urgency to fight uh, Anthony Joshua because, I mean, like I said, we, there's a perfect solution. There's a perfect solution if you really want that fight. If uh, I mean, why would you give up $75 million, uh, you know, to fight Deontay Wilder in Las Vegas? I mean... At the end of the day, the decision that came down didn't specify when the fight had to take place. He just gave a general deadline of September 15th for the fight to have, have to take place by then. It, it, there's no uh, clause in the in the decision that says that, as far as I know, that you know he has to fight Deontay Wilder before he fights uh, Anthony Joshua. 
So, uh, you know, conceivably, he can just fight Anthony Joshua on the 14th and then fight uh, Deontay Wilder on September 14th or sometime in late September. So, I mean, so at the end of the day, there's no real, uh, there's nothing really stopping this undisputed, okay, uh, as far as I can see. You know, at the end of the day, the, the undisputed can go on, but that, that, that's going to be up to Tyson Fury. Okay, if he's willing to take the fight a month later with Deontay Wilder, okay, and him talking, you know, about him being a gypsy and a fighting man and all of this, and he beat Malik Scott and Deontay Wilder on the same night, then if that's the case, it wouldn't be, a, it wouldn't be, it should be easy for him to fight Deontay Wilder a month after fighting Anthony Joshua. What's the problem? You know, but, you know, as we can see, you know, these you know, Tyson Freeders are like talking and, uh, you know, we all saw, you know, all this talk about gypsy fighting men. And, you know, we saw what happened with uh, Billy Joe Saunders and Canelo. You know, all this talk about gypsy this and gypsy that. You know, at the end of the day, uh, Canelo just folded up uh, Billy Joe Saunders like a lawn chair. Okay. And probably ended his career in boxing. Okay. So, uh, you know, when when we hear this talk about this gypsy fighting man and all this, you know, this, that, and the other, as if these guys are some kind of tough guys or they had, they're somehow different than anybody else, it, it doesn't really compute at the end of the day, okay? Uh, Tyson Fury has not shown us anything that we ain't seen before. I mean, he's a great boxer. I, I can't take that away from him. But this whole fighting man thing that he, you know, this whole persona, this whole bravado, you know it's bogus okay at the end of the day and if, if 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 he's a real gypsy fighting man okay if tyson fury is a real gypsy fighting man like he claims there should be no reason why he can't fight deontay wilder on september 14th or sometime in late september after fighting anthony joshua in august 15th and therefore making undisputed a reality it's up to tyson fury there's nothing stopping him in you know actually at the end of the day there's nothing stopping this undisputed from happening except for tyson fury okay so it looks like they're not even gonna try to make the fight happen for undisputed they already booked a uh, a venue in, in las vegas and the the deontay wilder fight you know is probably gonna be made soon so we're gonna see how that all plays out okay at the end of the day but, uh, you know, Tyson Fury is looking pretty shaky at this point. Uh, Deontay Wilder seems to be, you know, uh, looking forward to have, making this fight. And, you know, uh, if he was to, if Deontay Wilder, you know, we see that he's been training and, you know, working out and looking pretty good, as a matter of fact. I mean, I, he looked great to me. And, you know, I'm, you know, I've said it before and I'm going to continue to say it. If Deontay Wilder actually learned how to box, he'd be a great fighter and almost unbeatable at heavyweight no one would be able to stop him okay because he has that equalizer in his right hand and you know and if he actually learned how to box and set up his punches like he's supposed to then you know uh you know it would be a difficult uh fighter to beat at heavyweight because he has the perfect uh you know infrastructure you know as a heavyweight as far as i can see and he and you know he was looking pretty quick uh, in those uh, videos as well, you know, in those uh, training videos. So it looks to me like Deontay Wilder really wants this fight and he's going about, you know, he, he has done everything to get the fight, you know, in terms of the mediation arbitration. And now that the fight is here, I don't really see him taking $20 million to step aside. I'm, I'm, I just don't see that. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong, but I doubt it. So it looks like Tyson Free is going to have to fight him. But like I said, that fight could happen after the Joshua fight if Tyson Fury is a real fighting man like he claims. But, you know, more than likely, like everything else Tyson Fury is claiming to be, he's probably not that either, okay? Okay, he's not, probably not a real fighting man like he's claiming because a real fighting man would take that fight with Anthony Joshua on the 15th, fight Tyson and fight Deontay Wilder a month later on September 15th, okay? So, and that, therefore, the fans will be able to get both fights and, and not miss out on the undisputed okay so you know that's the way i see that you know this whole situation at this point okay and uh you know uh but we're gonna have to wait for development to see what happens okay uh at the end of the day uh right now 
you know, Deontay Wilder is sitting in the catbird seat. Okay. Uh, everything is, you know, is moving along the way uh, in his favor. And, you know, everybody is going to have to uh, respect his gangster, you know, at this point, you know, because that fight is going to have to happen regardless. So, uh, you know, the, the trilogy that I'm talking about. So that fight is going to have to happen. And uh, I don't think any of the shenanigans that we see Tyson Fury trying to pull is going to work at this point. He's going to have to step in that ring with Deontay Wilder. Now, whether Deontay Wilder can beat Tyson Fury in the third fight, you know, uh, remains to be seen. But again, based on the way I see him training and the way he's been looking, he's looking pretty good. And, it's, you know, to me, if, he's, if he can fight the way I see him training uh, and actually, you know, uh, improve his skills, I think he has a shot at Tyson Fury. You know, uh, the new and improved and the new and improved Deontay Wilder, if, 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 if he actually, you know, uh, can pull it off, uh, he can beat the he, he could probably beat uh, Tyson Fury. I mean, it's not out of the realm, realm of possibility. I mean, it's not likely that he can beat Fury based on what we saw in that second fight. OK, the way Tyson Fury beat him. But that's if he continues to fight the way he used to fight. If he changes his style and improving his skills, I think that Deontay Wilder have a shot against Tyson Fury. And, uh, you know, I think he can do a much better performance than we saw in that second fight. You know, uh, so uh, I, I, I have no problem with the, with the trilogy fight at this point. OK, based on what I'm seeing so far, based on the fact that, you know, uh, Deontay Wilder has actually went back to the gym and is working on his craft. So if that's the case, I have no problem seeing the, the trilogy. As a matter of fact, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I would I would love to see this trilogy fight now with a new and improved Deontay Wilder and see how it all plays out. Okay, and you know, uh, the winner of that could fight Anthony Joshua for undisputed. If Anthony Joshua gets past, you know, uh, his next fight, uh, if this fight don't happen with uh, Tyson Fury first, but like I said. Tyson Fury could end all of that by simply just fighting Anthony Joshua on the 14th, August 14th, and then fight Deontay Wilder on September 14th, okay? And, you know, if that was me, that's what I would do because I wouldn't give up 75 million pounds, which is almost $100 million, just because, you know, I have to fight Deontay Wilder for the third time, okay? I wouldn't give up that $75 million for anybody. I would go ahead and make the fight and then fight Deontay Wilder after, before the deadline, you know, stipulated by the arbitration decision. Okay. And that's what Tyson Fury should do if he's really serious about being a so-called quote unquote fighting gypsy or fighting man. So, you know, that's the way I see that. So, uh, but we'll see how it's all going to play out at the end of the day. Uh, you know, we have to let events take the course. And so we'll see what happens, but, uh make sure you like and subscribe to the channel okay uh donate if you want to donate to the channel you can like hate or subscribe it doesn't matter to me i'd much rather if you like but hey uh and subscribe but you can hate too <laughs> okay so go ahead and uh do that go to tbeboxing.com get the latest news and and uh you know in terms of boxing headlines and news the boxing headlines and news and tv.com are updated daily so you get the latest information okay so go there and check it out uh that's all i have for right now this is tbe boxing i'm out